So what we have here is a silver tone that I've had for ages. It was destroyed by Delta, hence the Delta tape. It was, you know, <laughs> so I sent a photograph of this to the rather wonderful Scott Baxendale who made, well, re convert it. What's the right phrase? He takes, he takes harmonies and silver tones and he does these beautiful conversions where he takes off the tops, puts brand new struts in them and bracing in them and basically turns them from a guitar which sounds like I mean it's dull. It's great though. I've used it, love it, but takes it from that and turns it into this. which has got a more rounded, sophisticated tone, but still sounding absolutely beautiful. So, so we're gonna send this guitar to Scott and Scott's gonna work his magic on it. I'm extremely excited. Warren Hewitt sent us this guitar. This is his old silver tone. It's pretty bad shape. It's pretty much unplayable. Not world class tone.
And here's Warren Ewart's silver tone conversion already. It is always Christmas when you get a box from Mr. Scott Baxendale. So what do we have in here? Where's the scissors? Nobody can say that he doesn't wrap his stuff well. I think he used steel reinforced tape. Dum de dum dum dum. Michael from In The Mix said, you do know if you speed this up, it can easily be slowed down, so be careful what you're saying. So I'm going to be very polite. I've never spent so, un so long. This is like Christmas morning, when you're a kid trying to unwrap your present. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. And there's going to be stuff all over the floor. I'm trying not to make it too messy. It's a Baxendale case. Which one is it? What is it? I'm so freaking excited. <gasps> hey, look at that! Completely rebuilt. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. Wow. And he's completely rebuilt the top. I mean, this was smashed to pieces by Delta and it was held together by tape. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Look where the tape was on the back holding that together. He, um, he said, unfortunately, when he pulled off the bridge and put a brand new bridge on, that he lost the original American Flash sticker, but he found me another one to go in there. There's a new scratch plate on it, which matches the original. It is, to say that it sounds like a new guitar is understatement of the decade. It's hard to believe this is the same incredible guitar. Oh. It's so beautiful. I mean, what a work of art. And do you remember what it was like before when it was completely demolished? This has been rebuilt. It's, it's got new, completely brand new struts inside. It is now, it's just a completely different guitar. Brand new machine heads to match the originals, brand new bridge. The neck has been straightened. It's got, it's been refretted. Oh, it's gorgeous. I need to know what strings he's using, they're gorgeous. Do you remember the before and the after? We've got to hold it, I'm going to have the picture. It is impossible to believe that this is the same guitar. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Thank you, Scott. You are a master craftsman, and you're a gentleman and a scholar, and this is unbelievable. So beautiful. We're going to be using this all over the place. We already use the other Baxendale ev everywhere. We're going to be using this even more everywhere. Ah, it's got to have pride of place. Gorgeous.